What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Boost to the Top VGC 2020. Now it's been a minute, it, it has been a minute. And also if you haven't noticed, we have a whole new vibe going on here. Uh, I, I figured now that I'm back at university, now that I'm moved in, I can actually start grinding out some content in my free time because I do have a bit of free time this semester. And I wanted to change sort of the aesthetic we have during these laddering sessions. I want it to be a little bit more relaxed and to help out with that, um, I'm going to be using the face cam and mostly just so I can mess around with these lights whenever I want to have a certain mood. Like, check this out, check this out. If something really bad happens, bam, we're on alert mode. No, I'm kidding. It's mostly going to be purple because I like purple and that's the theme of my channel. So today, we're back on the ladder. We're using a team from Poketana on Twitter. Now, this team is really, really interesting. Uh, let me get into the team builder right here for you. Okay, so today we're going to be running this team from Poketana, like I had mentioned earlier. Now, this team has a couple of G-Maxes on it. We have the potential for four, but Duraldon isn't amazing, uh, so it's going to be a regular Duraldon. But before I get into the team builder here, or the team showcase, uh, I want to announce that I will be going live Sunday through Thursday, every week now, from two, from 10 p.m. to uh, 12 a.m. Central Standard Time. That might be a little bit late for a lot of you guys, but uh, it's the only time of day I can actually consistently live stream, and I, you know, I get that late night audience. Also, there's gonna be some some fun stuff going on in my live stream, some laddering, some team building, a lot of chill stuff. Maybe one day I'll stream Minecraft instead of Pokemon. We'll see. So, if you guys want to join me, that will be live tonight at 10 p.m., and I'll see you guys there. Also. Be sure to join the Discord, which is linked in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to be using this G-Max Lapras with the Life Orb, the ability Shell Armor, which will prevent crits from Togekiss and any other Pokemon. It's going to be running Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Thunder, Protect, 28 HP, 12 Defense, 252 Special Attack, 4 Special Defense, 212 Speed. Uh, that 107 base speed stat after the 212 investment will be enough for Dragapult. Now in the video, I, I actually don't know if it's enough for Dragapult because I had forgotten and I'm recording this in post, so just keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, but at double speed, we'll be able to outspeed the Dragapult. Um, and, you know, speaking of double speed, we're running this town flame with the Sharp Beak, Gale Wings, Dual Wing Beat, Flare Blitz, Tailwind, Protect. It's got max attack, 4 special defense, 252 speed. Uh, with Gale Wings, we'll be able to get a priority Tailwind off. Uh, and also priority Dual Wing Beat, which could come in handy later on in a couple of matches. And also, uh, one thing I do have, it's a slight criticism of the team. I would personally run Quick Guard over Protect. It's really nice for preventing fake outs on Talonflame and any of its partners. So it's, it's really nice to use that turn one. And also it can create some mind games where people might not feel safe clicking a fake out in the face of a Talonflame. Next up, we have the G-Max Rillaboom with the Miracle Seed, Grassy Glide, Knock Off, Fake Out, High Horsepower, Max Attack, 4, <laughs> we have Max Attack, I almost said 4 HP for some reason, 196 HP, 60 Speed. Now, Max Attack with the Miracle Seed and Inanimate Nature, uh, if you don't know, once you G-Max and you go for the G-Max Drum Solo, that is enough to one-shot uh, Gigantamax Lapras, which is really, really good. Uh, so yeah, that's what this thing's going to be able to do. Next up we have a Clefairy with the Evil Light and Friend Guard, Follow Me, Protect, Helping Hand, Moonblast, 252 HP, 252 Defense with the Bold Nature and 4 Special Attack. Personally I would have put it into the Special Defense stat, it's a little bit more bulky that way, but uh, it's not like this thing's going to be picking up any KOs with Moonblast anyway, so I think that would be, that'd be a nice adjustment to make. Next up we have the Focus Sash on the Urshifu with Unseen Fist, Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch, Protect, we have Max Attack. 4 Special Defense, 252 Speed. The Focus Sash is going to be really nice. We'll be able to take at least one hit, and uh, because Urshifu is so powerful, we can go for a very very strong Wicked Blow and follow it up with the Sucker Punch, pretty much guaranteed every single time uh, it hits the field, which is really nice. I honestly haven't used G-Max Urshifu yet, at least the, um, the Dark type. I have used the Water type quite a few times, so I'm kind of curious how well it works in this format. The uh, G-Max One Blow is an extremely powerful move that I kind of want to see. <laughs> I kind of want to see pick up some KOs. Next up, we have the Duraldon with an Assault Vest, Stalwart, Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, 252 HP, 4 Defense, 156 Special Attack with a Modest Nature, 36 Special Defense, and 60 Speed. Now, this thing, it has an Assault Vest to compensate for its pretty abysmal Special Defense, and behind the screens, it's going to be even harder to knock out, so that's going to be really interesting to see if it can actually take a few hits after that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, helps me out a ton, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And if you want to do me a favor, comment down below. What is your least favorite Pokemon to see in this format? I know a lot of people aren't a big fan of Cinderace or Rillaboom right now, but I don't think either of them are too oppressive. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the battles. 
I recorded that in post, so I didn't have to bother with anything. So we're, we're back, we're back. That was that was future Marcos. So we're using that team on the ladder today. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, turn on notifications for more content. So yeah, let's get into it. We did decay quite a bit. Like last time I laddered, it was actually like top 2,000, which isn't amazing, but I was top 2,000, right? Uh, I haven't played in weeks, so I am now in the 7,000s, and this is a completely new team, so for all I know, uh, I'm going to play like absolute garbage, but he did provide me with the paste, he did provide me with the paste, so I am pretty excited to try it out. Where is this team here? Where is this team? It's a rental. There it is. So this team does have the, uh, what was it? It does have Urshifu, uh, and I haven't used single strike yet, but I have lost to it a couple of times, so I'm pretty interested to see what it can do. We are running a Life Orb Lapras and a... What is it? A Miracle Seed G-Max Rillaboom. And also, we don't have any music on in the game because I want to try doing some lo-fi stuff. Let me know. Question of the day. What is your opinion on, on this new aesthetic for the uh, for the laddering sessions? And this is a pretty interesting team. I got some lo-fi playing right here. It's a different lo-fi than what you're listening to right now. Uh, I'll find something interesting for you guys to listen to. But it looks like our opponent has a Dragapult, Toxtricity, probably the G-Max, a Gyarados, a Gengar, a Rillaboom and a Weezing. Now that's going to be a little bit scary. The Stalwart going away. <laughs> Not having Stalwart's going to be a little bit annoying. Um, it doesn't look. It doesn't look like there's much of a place for Rillaboom in this match because he just kind of tosses us. He tosses us up. Um, wow, this is actually a really scary match right off the bat. Uh, this might be a game for the Duraludon actually. I, I could go like Lapras on the lead with the Clefairy. Get my screens up immediately uh hopefully dodge a <laughs> hopefully dodge the g-max toxtricity i'll bring the drought on the back because it, it's able to eat hits from the rillaboom pretty well as well as the gyarados um especially with that assault vest behind the screens it's going to be super super threatening and i think hmm you know what else i could do no no i'm gonna do this i'm gonna lead off town flame and that's because i want to deal with the rillaboom on the lead I'm gonna bring Duraldon in the back. Is my last Pokemon gonna be Urshifu or Rillaboom? Or Urshifu or, or, uh, or the Clefairy? I think I'm gonna go with Clefairy here, uh, which that's mostly because I don't see much of an opening for Urshifu. Like it, it could hit, like the it could hit the Rillaboom pretty hard, but I don't see it doing too much. I really like the the lights here. I really like the lights. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be fun. I mean, I could change it to a to like a pink or a, a lighter purple, but I, I like this. Kind of like this dark purple. Actually, no, the lighter purple kind of fits the moon a little bit better. And he ends up leading off with the uh, with the Dragapult and the Rillaboom, and that's actually an amazing lead for me because I should be able to just toss up this Rillaboom right here because we are life orb. I'm assuming we're calced to outspeed this um, this Rillaboom and knock it out with the G-Max Resonance. It is going to hurt. It is going to hurt, without a doubt. We're going to we're gonna be hurting here, but... Um, let me see what our special... Because we are Life Orb, right? We are Life Orb. We do have quite a bit of physical defense. He provided me with the paste, and I'm, I'm reading it right now. I could also dual Wing Beat into that and go for my Max Guard, but I don't know if that's my play either. I could try that. Um, let, let me do this. Let me do this. I'm going to Max Guard initially just to play it safe, and I'm going to go for the dual wing beat. I could Tailwind now. I'll Tailwind now because it's safest. Um, I don't want to go for the dual wing beat first because we're going to be faster under Tailwind anyways. As they do go for the G-Max. All right, so that might actually be really good for us because what's going to happen here is they should target into our um, into our Lapras with a... Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's different. That's, that's different. I wasn't expecting that. I definitely wasn't expecting that coming out from them. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to Dynamax this Lapras here. We're going to go for the Max Guard. Hopefully we caught an attack from that thing. Uh, I'm assuming we're also speed crept for this <laughs> for this Dragapult. We do have the 60... No, we do have 212 speed investment. So I'm just going to go on a limb and say that makes us hit 107, hopefully. I'm not certain. I, I haven't checked because I'm, I'm not too familiar with the team at the moment. I did ask on Twitter for some teams, so occasionally I will be doing that. If you guys want to send me some teams, follow me on Twitter. Dang, all right. That's a bit disappointing. So there's a, oh, I got red hard. I got red hard, hello. Goodbye. I didn't like that. I don't think I liked that at all, to be honest. What can I do here? What can I do here? 
Um, we're gonna have to eat a hit from that Dragapult. I'm more scared of this Rillaboom, to be honest. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into the Clefairy and I'm gonna go for this uh, Max Resonance into the Rillaboom. Wow, this could have all been avoided by just going for a Max Resonance turn one. That would have gotten a lot of damage off. There's a Toxtricity. That's fine. That's fine. Overdrive isn't gonna hurt too bad behind the screens. Watch them be Infiltrator Dragapult. That'd be wacky. There's the Flutterby. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a special attack set in particular. But I could helping hand the hit. Drowdon might be my best way of winning this match. Um, the fact that they have the U-turn could be an indicator of, or the Max Flutterby is an indicator of U-turn, which could be an indicator of a pure physical. All right, that does a ton, even at the minus one, because of our, because uh, of our Life Orb here. Life Orb's kind of a bot, to be honest. Life Orb's honestly amazing. All right, let me see if I can nay nay on him. I almost feel as though the um. I feel as though he's wasted his Dynamax here. Let me go for this G-Max Resonance. Um, I kind of don't want to stay in. I almost want to sack my Town Flame, but I know that's probably not my play. The Tailwind could be important later. I'll just go for the Follow Me. Or even a Protect wouldn't be a terrible option because he can't one-shot me on my Lapras. And I think it's more important just to keep Clefairy on the field for later on because uh, a Sludge Bomb would be devastating into this Clefairy if he decides to make that read. So I'll Protect. And the Fred Guard's just going to be really nice if he overdrives. Which he might have. There's the Flutterby doing absolutely nothing again. Lowering our special attack, not too big of an issue. The reason I went for the Max Resonance instead of the, um... The reason I went for the Max Resonance instead of the Max Water is just in case they decide to switch out. Um, I, I could have gotten a little bit more power on my water moves, but honestly, everything on the field is going to resist water anyways. So it's just like, let, let's go for the Resonance. Let's just let's just Resonance up. So this should, this should KO. We are at minus a ton, but it's going to KO because of the Life Orb. All right. So, honestly, he doesn't have much for me anymore. He, like, he has nothing for Duraldon. If we're being if we're being real here, he has nothing for Duraldon. And my nose is itching, dude. My nose is itching. Don't worry, I'm not sick. The other day, uh, when I moved into my apartment, my roommate was messing with me, right? And he was like, dude, Marcos, honestly, so hyped you're here, ready for an awesome year with this dry cough. I feel like I could take on the world. And I was like, bro, <laughs> bro, don't say that. Can that be Rillaboom? Ah, nice, 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 nice. All right, uh, so what I'm gonna do here is, what, what are my options? I mean, I could just go for the attack. I don't know if I need Lapras to win, but Lapras in the back would be really nice. I think I'm gonna sack the Talon Flame to get Drought on him for free. And I can go for a Moonblast into that Dragapult just in case it's Focus Sash, because later on that could be really nice. That might be my play. Yeah, that might be the play. I'm going to take a lot of damage on this Clefairy if he decided to target into it. There's the Fake Out. Makes sense. Not too much damage on the Clefairy, I assume, this turn. There's the Dragon Darts. He, he doesn't have a Ghost move. He would have gone for it there. Moonblast should do eh, not much because we're a Clefairy, but it's super effective, so we're going to get a little bit of a chunk there. All right, now the Duraldon comes in for absolutely free. We're going to start dropping some pretty powerful flash cannons behind the screen, so I think we might have this game. I could actually just send in Lapras now that I'm thinking about it. He doesn't, he doesn't have much counterplay for that, and Duraldon in the back could be useful later. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could just go for the ice move into the, into the Rillaboom here. I'm not too concerned about Dragapult right now. So here I'm going to freeze dry. Life Orb freeze dry should do a chunk and a half. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll follow me here. This is such a relaxing way to play Pokemon. How much are we doing? Also, team building live streams, they're coming back every weekend. My bad guys, I, I wanted to apologize because I, uh, <laughs> that that's like a Patreon reward that I had been slacking on because I had been at home working and doing some, some stuff like that, you know, uh, but they're coming back now because I actually have time. I have time to do it every weekend, which is super nice. 
There's the fly, okay. Interesting. Should do a decent amount. Especially with that life orb. Oh, the cursed body. Are you kidding me, man? You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Um... I suppose here is where I protect the Clefairy and get back in the... And get in the Duraldon, finally. Because... Yeah, you shouldn't be able to do much to the Duraldon. How many turns of screens do I have left? I Because I don't have... I don't have Light Clay. I got one more turn of Aurora Veil, which is kind of lame. Kind of lame, to be honest. Go for this Protect. Go for this Protect here. Honestly, I think I always target into the Gengar slot this next turn because Gengar is annoying. This should do nothing. Oh, that's such a cool animation. Why do I never see it? Alright, yeah, there we go. Uh, he shouldn't knock out Michael Fairy because, you know, Eviolite. So I think I always just go for the. Um, yeah, I always just Splash Cannon here because it catches the Rillaboom too. Um. And I follow me because Dragon Darts doesn't affect me, and I don't think I lose in any situation here. There's the follow me. Hopefully he doesn't protect this Gengar. I don't think he will. I think he has to freaking Sludge Bomb. There's the Dragon Darts. Goes into nothing. Sludge Bomb shouldn't knock me out, so I think we got this game locked down. Ooh, that was close. Don't poison. Thank you. Okay, cool. We got this game locked down. You know we got a lockdown, guys. You know we got a lockdown. The freaking cursed body. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can you not activate one? What is it? 30%? Isn't it 30%, dude? Come on. Y you're, you're kidding me, man. Alright, well, Real Boom comes in. It's it's a little scary. It's a little scary. I'm not afraid to admit that. Um, But he should go for a fake out here, so I'll just... Huh. The Dragon Darts shouldn't KO me. I think my play here is just to Draco into this Dragapult and go for a Protect, because he shouldn't knock me out. Um, and I think I think Follow Me makes the most sense on my side, so he should just go for that. He should always fake out the Clefairy. Unless he wants to make a Big Brain read. Oh, okay, he's making the Big Brain read. That shouldn't knock me out, though. Is the U-turn? Yeah, okay. Well, I still win. He hasn't revealed Protect on this Dragapult yet. Um, so I think my play here... Hmm. Little concerned. Little concerned here. Little concerned. Go for this Draco into that again. And... Do I follow me here? I could get it back into Lapras pretty safely. Not really safely, but... You know, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I'll follow me, just in case he darts. It's surprising he doesn't have a ghost move on this thing. Don't protect your Dragapult. If you don't, and I don't miss, I win. There's the Grassy Glide that should knock it out. Darts shouldn't knock me out, though, and I think I win now. As long as Flash Cannon comes back soon, you know? Alright, there we go, we land it. We're gonna be at minus two special attack though, which is gonna be kind of annoying. Gonna be kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Do we do we lose this? We might lose it, to be honest. I might have freaked it. Alright, here's the Lapras. Uh Grassy Glide, if he's Miracle Seed, it should knock us out, I think. But I can protect here. How many turns of terrain do you have? He's got three turns of terrain. Jesus. Um, yeah, let me flash cannon. Hopefully... Oh, it's disabled still. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, dude. I don't want a Draco either, because it's just not worth it yet. Man. Dark Pulse for damage. I do have the Protect. I don't think he's going to, like, high horsepower here. I don't think it makes sense. If he superpowers, he's big brain, but also if he superpowers into my Duraldon, he loses. There's the knockoff. Oh, he is big brained. But I think that's also his best damaging move. 
I'm gonna have to eat this hit, aren't I? I'm gonna have to somehow eat this hit. Can Flash Cannon come back, man? That did a lot of damage. Full health? Not quite. I need to live this Grassy Glide. Which, I don't know if I do, because we have... We don't have that much bulk on us, to be honest. I'm gonna go for the Flash Cannon. If I get enough spit-off drops and manage to live a hit or two, I think we can win, but... Can I live this, please? Please, 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 please. Grassy Glide's gonna hurt. Oh! <laughs> we won! Oh, no way! I didn't expect to win that. Alright, that's gonna do a chunk. That's that life orb, baby. That's that life orb. And I think he might have been a salt vest. It is possible he was a salt vest, but Lapras is gonna go down. We just barely win that. We just barely win that, which makes me real happy. That makes me real, real warm inside. <laughs> okay. So first game back. First game back, and we're already we're already taking lives. All right. Let's continue battling here. Bam, 2,000 points right there. Alright, next battle. Next battle already. Versus Harry, okay. What you got, Harry? Some hybrid sun sand. Um, a little bit of a 50 50 here, but I think. Hmm. He doesn't have a way of keeping me from getting Tailwind up. So I think I always. Do I always bring Lapras? I don't think I do, actually. I don't think I ever bring Lapras in the lead. I don't think I ever bring Lapras in the lead. Urshifu would be really nice if he goes Sand Mode, which I think he has to to beat Lapras, so I might I might do this, actually. This might be my play. This might be my moment, dude. Go Rillaboom. I, I'm just going to make a hard read on Sand here, because Sand is his best bet versus Lapras because of that rock move and the fact that Tyranitar takes no damage from anything on my side of the field except for the Urshifu. Um, and I think I kind of want to bring Duraldon. It's between Duraldon and um, Clefairy here. I think I go. Hmm. I think I go Clefairy. It just helps out a lot. We are Sash too, which could be really nice versus this team if he decides to go Sun Mode. Because I can follow me and then uh, G Max 1 Blow. I think that's the move, right? Is it G Max 1 Blow? I've never used it. I've never clicked that move. Alright, so we ended up going Sun, which is really, really scary. Um, but I should be able to actually. I'm Focus Sash, so I should be able to actually KO this Charizard. I have to land a dual wing beat though. Cause I cause I always live the hit with my Urshifu. Dang, I shouldn't have gone hard on the sand read. Um I could dual wing beat and G Max one blow and hope that that KOs, and I think that might be my best play. Ooh, my lights just turned off. That was <laughs> that makes me look gross, bro. Back on. On. I'll deal with that in a second. I'm going to do that. That might be a horrible play. Yeah. G-Max 1 blows the strongest off of this, I believe. Turn back on, lights. Baba. As he switches out the Charizard, I might have removed... Clefa oh, bro. I just got nanade. Just got nanade so hard. Tell me this KOs somehow. Tell me this KOs somehow. I mean, it can still Tailwind up with this Town Flame, I think. This thing's menacing, dude. Dual wing beat. We land it. Does nothing. Thank you, sharp beak. You are useless. The one blow is gonna do probably a chunk, but not much. Yeah, not much. <laughs> Burning jaw. See, I'm glad I didn't speed boost here, dude. I'm real glad I didn't speed boost. Alright, so, um... Do you think Flare Blitz KOs? I mean, G-Max 1 Blow will KO. After a dual wing beat again, but... 
kind of need the tailwind, don't I? I can tailwind next turn. I think I just, I think I just double in, into the Clefairy. Or I could attack the Clefairy and go for a G Max one blow into this thing. I don't want to get burning jealousy, dude. He was expecting maybe a Max Airstream, Max Knuckle, something like that. There's the follow me. That's fine. Just trying to cover my bases. We land the dual wing beat, so we are going to KO this turn. And next turn, I should still be free to Tailwind. I believe this thing has a ton of speed investment. Let me double check. Double check. Yeah, he has 252 speed, so I can Tailwind up and go for a G-Max 1 blow. And probably be alright. Probably. Probably. Not really. Probably not. There's the Yawn. I don't like that, bro. I don't like that. This man's drowsy. This man's drowsy, dog. <laughs> alright. So Charizard definitely comes in here. Yeah. There's the Charizard. I'm going to do myself a big favor here, and I'm going to Tailwind up, expecting him to want to max guard. I don't think I sack Rillaboom here, because Grassy Glide could be nice in the endgame. I think I have to go... Maybe I do sack Rillaboom. Maybe I do sack the Rillaboom, though. Um... I'll try it. I'll sack the Rillaboom, because the, the, like, my only way of winning here is going to be with my freaking Urshifu at this point. I have to keep that thing safe. And the Sash is gone, so uh, if he Dynamaxes here, I'll be able to redirect all the hits into the Clefairy late game. And not even... Hello. One of my rats is running around right now. <laughs> I, have, I have three pet rats, if you weren't aware. Alright, he should max guard every time. Because the Tailwind is so obvious. I'd be really surprised if he didn't. This man didn't max guard. I could have gotten damage. Alright, well, at the very least, the, the attack should be going into this thing. There's the Airstream. Into the town. I, I, I'm kind of okay with that. It, it depends. It depends. I might not be. I'm not certain. Not entirely certain, actually. It depends if I get knocked out here by Burning Jealousy, which I should. I mean, this is kind of a bulky Rillaboom, but in the sun... Oh, he body pressed. Dude, this is doable. This is doable. I th maybe knock off into G-Max. <laughs> maybe knock off into the attack after Solar Power might be able to let me live. I really hope we could blow somehow KOs here, because we're not Life Orb, we're nothing like that. Probably won't, probably won't, man. Definitely won't, actually. <laughs> we go for the for the Wicked Blow, I mean, we Tailwind it up, we're gonna knock, <laughs> we're gonna be able to outspeed it. Uh, it. We're probably not knocking this thing out, but who knows. We gotta try our best. If we get like a critical hit on the knockoff, it's possible. Oh, that does so much, but we need to crit this knockoff, I think, to, you know, have him get KO'd after the fact. Urshifu's down. Torkoal's at double speed. I think I just lose. I, I definitely just lost. <laughs> My bad, guys. Definitely just lost there. <laughs> I made a really bad read on the uh, on the on the call. He was gonna bring sand. Ah, close. He's a charty bear too. All right. Burning jealousy should knock me out. Yeah. Oh, we just lived that. Okay. Um. <laughs> Dude, if I helping hand this Grassy Glide, I, I know I always lose here, but if I helping hand Grassy Glide and it manages to KO, I'm going to laugh. I just want to do that. I, like, I'll forfeit after the fact, because I don't want just to be Clefairy sitting there, slowly getting KO'd. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out. It's not going to KO. Helping hand. Grassy Glide. Tell, tell me this somehow knocks out. It's not going to. It's not going to knock it out. Ah, that was so close. That was so close, dude. That would have been funny, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. He just one-shot my Clefairy. Alright, we're gonna get one more match with this team. One more match with this team. As he burning jealousies for the KO here. Good game, man. Good game. <laughs> Oh, 
OBS is telling me that I, I've been dropping frames. Hopefully, I didn't uh, I didn't drop too many. Not sure why it's doing that. All right, let's continue battling. Let's get one last. Actually, let me see something. Man, all right, yeah. We'll continue battling. Ow! I, I mean, we're not we're not at square one. We're not at square one. We haven't we haven't lost all the points we gained from that first match. All right. Uh, so we're facing ooh Dragology Trick Room. All right. Um, that's going to be probably weakness policy Dragology with Bulldoze and Sun is pretty threatening here. This team has a really tough time versus Sun. I think I always go Lapras with, um, yeah, I think I always go Lapras with the boy here in the in the front. Rillaboom doesn't look amazing. Doesn't look amazing. Duraldon is probably my best bet, even though I don't like it. Um, and I could go Urshifu. I'll just go Urshifu. The Sash could come in handy for late game. I mean, Wumble is going to be doing a ton to the Dusclops. I suppose I could have let off. Uh, I could have. I could have let off with the Urshifu. Now that I think about it, for the Dusclops to stop the Trick Room, but I was kind of content just playing in Trick Room because Dragalgy doesn't do too much. Yeah, Dusclops Venusaur can follow me away that hit, or follow me away the Sleep Powder. In fact. Let me try something here. Let me try something. I'm going to protect. Does he have a terrain setter? Because I could actually do something kind of wacky. He doesn't have a terrain setter. I'm going to do something wacky. I'm going to max lightning. And follow me. Now, my Clefairy may go to sleep here. But um, this is going to break what I assume is a sash on the Venusaur. It could also be... G-Max Venusaur here, which would be kind of scary, but it, it would also prevent the Sleep Powder turn one. I mean, Torkoal could also come in here and just nae nae, but... Alright, I'm Dynamaxing first, so we didn't Dynamax, so it looks like I made the right call with the Sleep Powder. Unless this is like a super, super slow Venusaur with a lot of bulk that's only fast after Torkoal comes in. That could be another possibility. But I'm just going to Max Lightning to prevent them from uh, to prevent them from putting anything to sleep on my side of the field. I'm content with the Trick Room. Here's the Leaf Storm, okay. I'm kind of hoping he Trick Roomed up. Kind of hoping he Trick Roomed up, but he won't be doing too much damage here anyways. Nothing's going to sleep, and I can get my I can get my screens off. And there's the trick room. Okay, cool. So it should be pretty safe to go for the max resonance now. So we'll, we'll max resonance you, and do I get my Dural or do I get my Urshifu in yet? Honestly, not certain. I could get in Duraldon pretty safely. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get in Duraldon. Duraldon comes in safely. I'm assuming Torkoal comes in. Yeah, there's the Torkoal. We're going to do a decent amount of damage, though, and I can um, I can actually reset his sun by going for a Max Geyser into this uh, Dust Clop slot. There's the Nightshade. It's going to be doing a little bit. Not a little bit, but a lot of it, you know? Oh, that's so much. Oh my god, how is that resisted? That is not resisted, sir. Alright, um... Yeah, I'll max Geyser into the Torkoal, actually. I'm max guys of the Torkoal, and I'll actually bring back in the Clefairy here. I don't want to lose Duraldon just yet. He might try to reset the Trick Room. 
or to undo the trick room here, realizing he made a, a grave mistake. And behind screens, I shouldn't lose Michael Ferry, but uh, Duraldon isn't worth the damage right now. Wait, what's on the back of Lapras's shell? I've never looked there. There's like a hole in the back of Lapras's shell. There's the heat wave. Shouldn't knock out my mons. Ooh, okay. Well, that just barely lived and it's going down now. My max geyser should KO here. And I'm under trick room, so I'm not too scared of anything he wants to send out. I mean, Dragalchi can come out now, but it's not going to KO anything. And my freeze dry is going to be doing a chunk. I'll just go Drought on here. The Sash is going to be important in like the final turns of the game, I think. Yeah, there's the Dragalchi, so they should be going for like a, a Bulldoze here. I should just be going for a bulldoze, but I think I take whatever hit they want to go for behind screens in my assault vests. So, actually, it could be a little bit scary going if they go for a max lightning, because I know sometimes they carry it. I'll go for the freeze dry, and I'll also go for the uh, Draco Meteor. I'm assuming a bulldoze is coming out. I, sh I definitely should have counted the turns of Trick Room. See, this is this is why I need to practice more, because I keep forgetting to do very basic things like that. Let's see what they end up doing. Yeah, there's the Dynamax. I'm assuming that's going to be a Bulldoze. That's That's got to be a Bulldoze, man. Adaptability is going to hurt so bad, though. I might lose my Duraldon. In fact, I'm probably going to lose my Duraldon. There's the Bulldoze. Take a bit of damage on all my Mons. They're going to get their Weakness Policy and their Speed lowered. Everyone's slow, yay. <laughs> so the Max Worm ones. They end up targeting into the Duraldon. Let's see if we can somehow take it. Not quite. Not quite. Watch me get like this lucky freeze. Actually, Trick Room might end soon. I think I think Trick Room might end this turn. I might be stupid though. I might be real stupid. Nah, Trick Room didn't end. Trick Room did not end. However, it should end next turn, and with guaranteed crits, I'm not too scared of this Dragalgy. Yeah, Trick Room's over next turn. I'll go ahead and I'll go for the Protect here. And a Protect here. Uh, G-Max One Blow, or just just the, the actual move, what is it called? The stupid move. The funny move. Wicked Blow. Wicked Blow should KO. They're taking their time here. They're not sure what to do, and I'm not sure either. I'm kind of hoping they didn't target into my Urshifu, because they end up, if they ended up targeting into Lapras, I'm actually in a really, really good spot. Here's my Protect. Let's see if I freaked this last game. Nightshade. Makes sense. Max Wormwind. Makes sense. I'm gonna break my Sash, which is, which is pretty annoying. Pretty annoying, to be honest. The question is, will they reset Trick Room here? I think they just might. I think they just might. Um, and I could make a really, really big call here. 
But I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough, to be honest. Because if I double into this Dust Cops, it's definitely going down. You know what? I don't care if I lose. I'm, I'm going to have to make that call. Because if I make that call and it ends up being right, it's going to feel so, so good. Let's do it. Guys, I lost. I need them to max guard this Dragalgy and reset the Trick Room, which I think they might. They might. Man, it's 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 like that sometimes, you know. And we're gonna get rid of the Dust Clops, maybe. <laughs> I don't think Freeze Dry actually does it. It might with the Life Orb. It, it, it might. It might. Yeah, so we would have won had we actually targeted into the Dragalgy there, I think. Yeah, I freaked it. Oh well. Good game to my opponent, man. Good game. Um, I'm going to try to familiarize myself with this team, or possibly another one. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to figure it out for the next video, but... Yeah. I'm going to have to forfeit here. There's no way I win this. I mean... I think the only way I win this is by them whiffing Sleep Powder like three times, or whiffing Leaf Storm twice. That's honestly my odds. They have to whiff a Leaf Storm twice. So I, I might as well go for it. Play it out. Play, play it your outs. Play it your outs. Let me, let me go for this Freeze Dry and the Dragalgy. Because if I land a Freeze Dry and Dragalgy, it's going to KO it. Uh, and if Venusaur whiffs two Leaf Storms, which is possible, I can I can win. But it's, it's definitely not going to happen. That's one! That's one Leaf Storm. Dude, it might happen. I have whiffed two Leaf Storms in a row. This is possible. That's one Leaf Storm. One to go. I believe. Guys, if you if you believe, pause the video, comment I believe. Just do it. You gotta do it for me. You gotta do it for me. Miss. Miss, please. Ah, that would have been so. That would have been so funny. No, I, I wouldn't have deserved that one anyways. But yeah, good game to my opponent. Good game to everyone I played today. Thank you to Poketana for the team and for sending me that pace. A lot of people didn't send me the pace, so I wasn't able to actually uh, make any slides for any of the other teams. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. Do me a favor, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment on the video. Do whatever you want. Get the get get those interactions up. As as Lord MV says, let's outplay the algorithm together. But yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.